Greetings and salutations friends, welcome back to another video. Now I'm bringing back a series that I've done on the channel that used to be called Monthly Favorites, but we are renaming it to Nick's Picks. This is basically a series where I talk about the different things that I've enjoyed throughout the month, whether that's fashion and clothing, lifestyle products, tech, gear, anything that's caught my eye and I really enjoy using. I like to showcase on the channel to kind of show you guys what I've been going through and different things that are on the market as of late. Now, as many of you guys know, we are obviously going through a pandemic that we've never really experienced before. So before you go into the comments and say, oh, why is he buying all this useless stuff when we have a pandemic going on just keep in mind that a lot of these products were bought over the last few months i haven't done this in a while so there are a few new products and yeah i think you guys are going to enjoy this new episode of nick's picks so sit back relax and let's check out this intro sequence Alright, so the first product on our list is going to be this backpack from a company called Ambition M. And the reason that this backpack is particularly interesting and very cool is that it's not actually just a backpack, it's more of a suitcase backpack. And you'll kind of get what I'm saying when I show you the insides of it. But first off, the design of it is very sleek. You guys know I go through a lot of different backpacks depending on the occasion that I'm traveling to or what my work environment will entail. Honestly, it's very slim and it doesn't follow a traditional backpack silhouette. However, when you open it up, you can see that there's this bifold divider section, which basically allows you to put in clothes, any different things that you're going to need when you travel whether that's underwear socks garments you can basically fit it in this backpack now the reason that this is so great is i go on a lot of trips which only last like two to three days definitely not a week's worth rather than having to pay extra to bring on another suitcase the fact that you're able to store all your stuff in a backpack is pretty unique it also has a pretty expansive front pocket which you can definitely use to store your tablet laptop i would say the only downside to this backpack is that it doesn't have too much storage for camera equipment but that's definitely not what this backpack is made for it's really just made for short weekender trips if you guys are looking for a pretty affordable travel backpack i definitely recommend checking out ambition them they are launched on amazon so i'll have it linked in the description down below now moving over to some clothes that i've recently picked up there aren't too many things and these are going to be a little bit more oriented for the colder weathers because i did pick them up while i was in new york but first off it is going to be this ovo beanie you guys know i love my ovo products and i had to pick up this one in the maroon colorway it's honestly just a very simple beanie to go to to be honest i probably won't get too much use out of it now that i am in texas however you can't go wrong with checking out their ovo beanies Next up, I picked up this black denim jacket from Levi's and I'm a huge fan of this wash because I didn't want to go for a traditional black colorway and I wanted to go for this more vintage grunge look. And yeah, I think this is a great pickup to my closet. Once again, I am in Texas, but it's still a pretty lightweight jacket. I can definitely wear it if it's a little bit chilly outside, but yeah, I'm super happy with this pickup. Finally, my absolute favorite pair of sweatpants that I picked up and I've been getting asked a ton of questions about where I got them. And these are going to be the Cole Buxton sweatpants. Now, if you don't know about Cole Buxton, they're basically a brand from the UK, but their style is really geared toward athletic essentialism. I've seen so many different photos of people wearing these, so I definitely had to pick them up. They are pretty hard to cop, but they have been restocking them pretty lately. So definitely make sure to go subscribe to their emailing list so you can get early access. But yeah, they're super heavyweight, great quality, very comfortable. And yeah, these are definitely going to be my go-to sweatpants. Thanks to Raycon for sponsoring this video. I recently got sent over their everyday E25 earbuds and it's one of their best models yet. It has six hours of playtime, Bluetooth pairing, and a super compact design that gives you a nice noise isolating fit. Now you guys know I'm an avid AirPod user, but the reason I really like the Raycon is that they are actually very affordable compared to the AirPods. These retail for $80 and the compact size is something that you cannot beat. Honestly, they are way lighter, have a much smaller form factor, and the sound quality you get from these are pretty on par with the AirPods. Now the reason these are so great is that they have silicon tips, meaning that they're not going to fall out if you you're going for a run if you're going for your daily commute these are definitely going to fit pretty snug in your ear they definitely don't fall out and for the price these are honestly a pretty good competitor to the airpods or any other type of wireless earphones now it has up to six hours of playtime, and the battery case can last up to 24 hours they do feature clickable buttons so that you can play and pause your music as well as skip tracks now, if you guys want to get an even better deal on these earbuds make sure to head to the link buyraycon.com slash nicholas che to get 15 percent off your order Next up, I recently picked up a new gimbal because I have been in search of one that has a little bit of a stronger motor. So this is the Zhiyun Weeble S. I used to have the Zhiyun Weeble Lab, but this is the improved version with a lot stronger motors and it's able to carry a heavier payload. So it can definitely hold my Sony a7 III with any type of lens that I have on it. The reason that I love the Weeble line is that it is super compact, meaning I can fit it in any type of backpack that I'm traveling with. You can also break it down and it has these really cool locking mechanisms. So I'm able to balance my camera easier. If you're looking for a heavy duty stabilizer, I definitely recommend checking 
coming out the Weibo S. I've only had it for about a week, so I haven't been able to test it out too much, but I'll definitely give a comprehensive review once I've checked it out. Finally, we have this Peak Design Sling, which I picked up while I was in New York at B&H, but this is a much more convenient way for me to travel with my everyday camera gear. You're basically able to fit one body, one lens, a microphone, and a tripod, and it's got plenty of pockets for you to store SD cards, batteries, anything you're going to need when you're traveling. So I'm pretty happy I picked it up in this black colorway. This is the five liter version two, so it is a little bit more updated than their previous travel slings. But if you're looking for something super compact for you to travel with your camera gear, you can't go wrong with the Peak Design Everyday Sling. Finally, some entertainment because I have definitely been binging a few Netflix shows. I have watched the entire Tiger King series, which was super crazy. Did Carol Baskin kill her husband? Let's figure this out, debate it out in the comments down below. I've also watched a new K-drama series, which is called Vagabond. I highly recommend checking it out. Me and my girlfriend binged it in like a week because it's so good. It's very action packed. So definitely check out Vagabond if you are looking for a new series to watch. Finally, part four of Money Heist came out, which I finished in literally two days. If you have seen it before, you guys know what I'm talking about. It is literally one of the best shows on Netflix. If you haven't seen the first season, please watch it. It's literally going to be your new favorite show. Music wise, there have definitely been a few new tracks that have come out. To See Slide by Drake is definitely a bop. He also dropped When To Say When and Chicago Freestyle, which I absolutely love. Hopefully the new album is on the way. Other than that, I've been listening to people like Roddy Rich. Um, the Weeknd's new album is pretty good. Nothing crazy in terms of new music, but that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I hope you enjoyed Nick's picks. Let me know what your favorite pickup down below and I will see you guys in the next one.